Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, we're at the Theme Park Evangelist. I am at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Last Monday I worked here at uh, Flame Tree Barbecue. Yeah, it wasn't a great experience. Um, I wouldn't say it was like the worst shift I've ever had. Um, definitely the day I worked at uh, Tomorrowland Speedway and the freezing cold weather was the worst. Anyways, so I still have not met the Tim Tracker. TJ has, and since I'm working here at Rivers of Light tonight, I decided to kill off a few hours. It's been really slow. Uh, Magic Kingdom attendance was at like 39,000. This one's really slow too, considering I was able to find a fast pass for uh, Nobby River Journey, but eh, I'm not feeling it. So um, I'm gonna go watch stuff to be a bug again. It's kind of something I do once a year, and then I'm gonna go over and do Everest. I figured after I do, it's tough to be a bug, maybe go buy Creature Comforts and get a Frappuccino and then um, swing over by Everest. Might just come back the way that I'm going right now. And I'm also going to conclude a dinosaur and then head out of here for now and then come back later in costume. So let's do this. This attraction is. Um, very interesting. I would definitely not recommend this to the uh, younger audience for certain because it is a little scary. I won't deny that. I find it hilarious. That's just me though. And the odd part is when you first get in this line, if you're surrounded by foliage, so you're thinking, nah, it's not that bad. And then you get it down there and then they have these posters of different characters you're going to see the show. And then you start thinking, eh, still not that bad. And here's where the show gets really interesting, too. I honestly um, would never have expected to have a twist that it did. Because when it first starts, um, it's kind of like all friendly. They're showing you what it's like to live in a buggy world. And they introduce some um, friendly acts, even though they have some action there that are not as friendly as the uh, others are. And then Hopper shows up and it just kind of goes downhill and that's when it gets really scary. And that's when the uh, strobe lights and all that other stuff comes in to play. I was at Disney Springs not that long ago and I tried a butterscotch frappuccino and it is so good, so rich. Melts in your mouth. Oh man. So this Saturday is the day I go to a summer for Potter. I was thinking about going Friday, but I have to be up at 3.45 in the morning for uh, the day at uh, Tomorrowland Speedway by 6.50 in the morning. No. Because by the time I leave, I'll be up for almost 12 hours. I think I'll just come home and relax. Besides, I took Sari out just so I can go. Uh, there's some new characters going, sorry. Usually I've been posting about on my Facebook page. So, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and check, because I can't even remember who's going to be there. Off like the top you. of my head. So this like is the part where they, uh, introduce all the uh, different acts that are going to be in the show. Of course, Hopper's on it now, so you never know who's going to show up. But the show's been around since, like, day one, so I don't mind talking about it. So TJ is uh, talking about going with me to the Red Robin on Champions Gate. You guys know where that is. It's kind of uh, a less bathroom thing, only by 5-10 minutes. We get out around the same time, so he wants to share a great tower and nachos with me. I've never had their nachos before. I wonder how they are. I'm not going to do any vlogging there or anything, not that I'm not allowed to. I usually go in there quite often, so they know me pretty well over there. But their food is so good. I can't even remember the last time we were there. We're gonna go back again next month because uh, he gets his free birthday burger. And uh, hopefully, I'll get some vacation time approved so that we can uh, stay here on property during his birthday weekend. He's got reservations at Crystal Palace, so I'm kind of excited. I'll definitely be doing vlogging on that for certain. That's always a funny show to watch, um, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to 
film movie, so hopefully you guys understand. You'll have to get my cat camera a little bit to focus. So I just came from a dark environment back into the bright environment. So it's going to be focusing for a little bit now. Not that you can see it, but we're passing by Pandora right now. I'm kind of letting my camera autofocus. Maybe if I paused it and then start re recording, I don't know. Wow, my camera is still not done focusing yet. I must have really messed it up in there. Good grief. I better start focusing soon. I hate when does this. It happens on the odd occasion. Not all the time. They should have the butterscotch for a Pacino. They should. I'm over by Africa at the moment. I went on my way to come here. Then I'm going to go on my way to go back to Everest. I shouldn't get sick or anything. You know what I'm saying? I finally got my camera to focus like 10 minutes later or so. I guess being in the dark environment again helped it out. I don't know if it's still focusing. I have all those glasses for It doesn't look like it. That's what I get for wandering between the dark and the bright all the time. So I'm not even going to try to focus on me right now. You just have to listen to my voice for the time being. So, um, here's um, an interesting fact if you didn't know it already. If you go to Animal Kingdom and you order a uh, soft drink from a quick service restaurant, they will not put a lid on your uh, drink. At first it didn't uh, make any sense to me, but then I stopped and thought about it. I was like, that's right. This pl the lids are made of plastic. Animals can't eat be around plastic because they'll eat it and die. That's why they had to give you uh, paper straws. Now it makes sense. Now if I could just figure out how to pause this while well, I'm trying to hold my drink. I think my camera focused again. So I am uh, in Asia at the moment. I'm heading over to Everest right now. I'm going to attempt to do a POV on this ride. Never actually tried this before, so this ought to be interesting. I can guarantee I can not do a POV, and that's why it's too dark and it's too shaky. Everest can get away with it, possibly, but even then, it's gonna be tough. But there's a first time for everything, you know. I mean, I've done Big Thunder Mountain a few times myself. It's definitely a very warm day today. I just uh, demolished my coffee can. It was so good. So good. I got here just in time because my fast pass is about to expire. And I can jump over and ride down sir. And um, leave the park for a little bit and come back and do something else not personal related, unfortunately. And then go join TJ afterwards. 